Do I think it's panic time? No, but the issues that I see on defense are apparent. The inability to get off the field on third down was problematic against the Vikings. Also problematic is the middle of the field and so much room to roam for guys like TJ Hawkinson and Jordan mm -hmm. Addison to be so wide open. I also think the lack of a pass rush also is hurting them as well because without the pass rush, you are leaving your secondary very vulnerable. And they paid Nick Bosa a lot of money to get after the quarterback. He hasn't been able to do it. Now credit the Vikings O-line. They were able to scheme around that and make sure that Kirk Cousins was untouched. But the fact that they just could not get any sort of pressure on him was concerning. And then there was also the Steve Wilkes defensive call at the end of the first half where he decided to call a zero blitz, which Kyle Shanahan mm -hmm. obviously was not happy about. He said he spoke to Steve Wilkes on it. And so for Steve Wilkes, I don't know if part of it is that he wanted to bring more of maybe his philosophy and schemes to this particular defensive unit. Instead, he is working with a lot of the concepts and philosophies that are already in place you know, philosophies and concepts that were put in place by guys like Sala and D'Amico Ryans. So mm -hmm. to me, the difference or for me, the, the the defense certainly is is something that's that's concerning. I do think the field goal kicking situation is also a concern because you have a rookie kicker out there. And even though Brock Purdy led that offense down the field and set him up for a game winning kick from 41 yards out, he didn't convert. Then we go to mm -hmm. Monday night. Even though he made that 55-yard field goal, he still was missing kicks. And what happens when it's the playoffs? And...